You ready to fight? Ready. Well, what a splash the UFC makes every time we come to the United Kingdom. If you want to see the UFC live in London, you better buy tickets within five minutes of them going on sale and you can get You're going to be standing outside hoping to be inside the arena all the way back to UFC 75 champion versus champion. Rampage versus Dan Henderson and UFC have won fights that have blown the roof off the O2 arena. Oh, damage done. Bleeding from his cheek now. Oh, flying knee right to the belt. Oh, high-level defense there. The hook shot is blocked by Jones. Slicing and dicing. Looking good with these elbows tonight, Jim. He looks like a Michelin star chef trying to I slice and dice the kitchen the way he's tearing his board up. Well, you know the book on this guy, very cerebral and tactical on the feet, and there is that inside leg kick. Just a quick switch to the hips, and boom, inside leg kick lands. Oh, this could be a factor. That left eye started to close up. He throws all of himself into that kick. Jones gets in the clinch. Oh, big elbow. The distance gets the single collar tie. Oh, big knee lands to the body. Oh, so Johnny Bones with the upward elbow, and it is really a case of pick your poison when you are fighting this guy. He will throw every weapon in his arsenal in a 25-minute fight. Oh, could be out of here soon, DC. Jones. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that bit. Jones is swelling now around that jaw area. We'll see if he can make some adjustments and perhaps defensively raise that guard to prevent any further damage. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Beautiful takedown score. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Let's go. Well, he's mixing it up beautifully tonight, and there it is again. Nicely done as he kicks the thigh, and some redness now starting to develop. Redness starting to show. His opponent needs to address this now before it gets so far down the line that he's playing catch-up. To the body in it lands. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, there's the horn signifying the end of the round, and he heads back to the stool, and hopefully he can stay in this fight because that is a severe cut that he's dealing with right now. All right, they attend to the fighter on the stool, and I guess if you are going to be cut open, cheek ain't a bad place for it. Yeah, it's the best spot, right? You never want to be cut. You never want to be bleeding. But if it's on the cheek, it's as good of a spot as it can be. But you still got to do something different, though, because even though the blood isn't going in your eye, every time you get hit there... You ready to fight? Ready. Let's do it. All right, here we go with round two. All right, next round is now underway. Do you see any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the out. It wasn't crazy. You got to see high-level mixed martial arts. So at this point, with this type of swelling, you could argue a stoppage wouldn't be out of question. No, it would not be out of question. And I don't think anyone would have a problem with it. This guy has been battered. He's been... Oh, he's trying to get the head kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. He was coming high, and now he's got to hurt bad. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out. He needs to start looking at the finish now because he's got it very bad. Big combination. Well, at this point, DC, I'm not sure if he's just... Oh, he 
he's in a world of trouble now. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to, starting to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack, not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now, and it's starting to show itself. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Under two minutes to go. Collar tie here in the clinch. Well, at the, oh, nice ankle break there. His wrestling chops on full display tonight. Full display. It also shows you, John, that he's willing to do it in any way, shape, or form to get to the finish line and get his hand ready. Back and forth we go. There's a kick. Well, at this point, he's got to be way up on the judges' scorecards, clearly winning the fight, and largely has gotten it done with his striking team. Got it done with his strike. He fought well behind the jab, but it was significant strikes that really did make an impact on the judges' mind. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. What a fight. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 39 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, John Bones Jones! All right, what a highlight here tonight. John Jones, your winner by KO. Summer surprise.